guys welcome to today's vlog today we're gonna do a men's cut and the inspiration for today's haircut came from men's spire salon on instagram they got a huge following you guys are probably following them already i loved this haircut and i also loved this haircut you can see the hard fringe that they were creating on these haircuts so that inspired me to create this video today this is the mannequin that we did we created that hard fringe i love that it's like a nice heavy bang it's creating that hard fringe in the front and then a ton of texture throughout the top i think you guys are going to really like this cut and i think people are going to be requesting this cut more and more uh, as the style goes on so definitely hope you guys like this video let me know in the comments below here we go all right, guys, so we're going to start off by sectioning off the mannequin. Now, those of you that are loyal followers of this vlog, you're going to realize that this is the same haircut as yesterday um, to begin with, and then we're going to change it up when we get to the top of the head. So if you want to fast forward to the top of the head, go ahead, uh, save yourself some time. If you've never watched this vlog before, um, we're going to start. I want to show you guys what I did at the bottom of this haircut. Now, I sectioned off a horseshoe section on top of the head following the parietal ridge, so that curve of the head, and then down to mid-crown, just kind of scooped underneath high crown just to give a little bit of that kind of fall over, that calic area that happens in the back. And now I'm gonna go through with my three guard and work up the side of the head. What I did before I started cutting with my clippers is I dried the hair. You get a much better result. It's kind of the same reason why you don't mow your grass when it's wet. Um, it just gets all clumped up. It doesn't cut as even. So I like to smooth it and blow dry it with a comb and get it all going in the right direction. And then I go through with my clipper and I just get a better result at the end. So using that clipper scooping up you can see that i leave a little bit more weight at the low crown area in the back and then i scoop up to that parietal ridge and then scoop out when i get to the parietal ridge on the sides now i know a lot of you guys won't be making this big of a change so it won't be going from super long hair to short hair so it would be just cleaning up the sides doing the normal fade that you want really go with what your guest is looking for so don't go just with a three guard because I'm cutting with a three guard I chose a three guard because there's not a lot of density in a mannequin um, so I didn't want it to look bald at the end even though it still looks a little bit bald but on a human it would definitely feel a little bit thicker so I would probably go with more of a two guard depending on what they are looking for so now we're gonna go through scissor over comb and the scissor over comb technique, I'm using my Mizutani Pen Slim Scissor. This is a brand new scissor from Mizutani. It is one of my favorites in my kit now. I love the DB20, but this one just for getting in those tight spaces. Also, scissor over comb, it's great because it gets nice and tight to the comb. Um, this is a six inch blade and just a lot of power. It's also nano powder metal steel, which really grips onto the hair. So it's great for scissor over comb work. So we're just blending that line right along the parietal ridge, right into low crown. You can see that the angle of my comb is just slightly tilted back. So I work it back and then I come away from the head as I work my way up. So you just wanna visually think about how you want your comb to be placed as you work it up the head shape. Now I'm gonna go through and just hit it with a little bit of the blow dryer. A blow dryer can manipulate the hair however you want it. So if you have somebody with extreme calyx or anything like that, on a daily basis, they should be hitting their hair with a blow dryer just to help push the hair exactly where you want it to go. Now we're gonna work that crown area. And what I wanna do is come directly out vertical uh, from the head shape, and I'm gonna bring it straight out towards me. So that buildup of weight's gonna happen right at the tip of my fingers, but the rest of it's gonna kinda collapse down. So just building a nice layered look, a little bit of weight buildup just to keep that crown area because a lot of people get those weird calyx in the back. So if you have a little bit of that extra weight, it becomes a lot easier to push it with a blow dryer later to kind of complete the look. I don't really like rounding off the crown that often. So everything comes straight out to me. It builds up a little bit of weight in that corner right behind the ear, but um, I'm gonna do something with that weight later. So again, just working those sections, straight vertical, straight back towards me. Now I'm working on top of my fingers, uh, but the same thing. And because of that little bit of over direction, you can see that weight just jumps right to behind the ear. I don't really like, you don't need to round off the back. I like that kind of heaviness that happens in the crown. 
Now we're gonna continue that vertical section all the way down the head shape. So this is gonna go right down the center of the head towards the front uh, fringe area. And what I'm gonna do is continue a straight line across using a point cutting technique because I want to break it up. I want to have that texture in there. So I work the point cutting technique all the way to the front fringe. Then what that's doing is pushing all the weight to the front. So you could see that how the head shape kind of curves down around the bang area, around the forehead. What that's doing is giving me a lot of extra length. And then that's going to help me with the end result of this haircut, getting that hard fringe in there later on. So right now I'm creating that texture, that textured look on top. And then I'm going to go in and cut my fringe dry. So now I'm working my way across the head shape, cutting everything, bringing it straight up from the head, creating that texture. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the sides and blend it. So I don't actually go all the way down with those sections. And now, so now what I'm gonna do is create that kind of rounded shape um, right on the edge of the head, right at the parietal ridge. So I'll just keep working across the head shape and using that point cutting technique and blending it with what I cut at the center top and what I cut down at the bottom with my scissor over comb. So just blending those two points together using point cutting. And at the very end, I over direct everything back. I know that seems weird because now we're pushing a ton of weight towards the front, but what that's gonna do is give me that density. So when I go to cut that hard fringe, it looks nice and thick. So everything in hair cutting has a purpose. When you pull something back, you're releasing the hair to go forward, but what that's gonna do is give me hair to work with later on in the haircut. So you definitely don't wanna, a lot of people think of how can I cut it to make the result right now, but it's not all about that. It's about how can I cut it now to work with it later and finish out the look that I'm going for. So now I'm gonna blow dry it again with my comb. The reason I like blow drying with a comb is because a comb has a little bit more tension than a brush. So I'm working through the 334 comb from YS Park, just working that hair back and forth. It's gonna help get rid of any calyx in the hair. And I just work that fringe straight down uh, and prep it to get the dry cut. Now I sectioned away with some clips, basically took a U section across from each temple area. So this will be customized to how thick you want that fringe to be but I hold it in my comb first and cut it. Then once I get the length that I want, I use that steady blade to go across the forehead and I cut that fringe straight across the forehead to give it the most um, low elevation as possible with no tension whatsoever. You wouldn't wanna hold this in your fingers because if you hold it in your fingers and cut it, you're gonna release it and you're gonna have all different um, lengths within the, the cut because of the tension. So now I'm just gonna go through, add that texture and blend the top a little bit. But you'll notice that my over direction goes way up in the air and that's to keep that length and the density at the bottom. So I don't wanna affect the bang whatsoever, but I do wanna create that texture in the top. So same thing, a little bit of point cutting. I've done all of this with the pen slum scissor. That's what's great about it. It works with pretty much every scenario. So from point cutting to texturizing, now we're doing a channeling technique, which is a half open and close on the top of the head. You just slide that steady blade across. It just gives you those short kind of divots within the haircut and a bunch of texture. It's a technique that a lot of guys like. Some more deep point cutting. Can't really go wrong with any of this because all it is is texture at this point. So I'm not changing the shape of the haircut just adding in more texture. And then I look at the fringe and I, and I decide, do I want it a little bit shorter? Today I decided I wanted it a little bit shorter, so I go in and cut even more of a blunt line once I finish up the top. So you can really see the look coming together. If you wanted this more straight across, I like having a little angle to it. Um, that's kind of my spin on it from the pictures that I saw. Um, but you could have it straight across as well. It would look just as good. So that's the last little bit. I'm gonna add Bricado Carve to it. This is a very light hold wax. It's a cream wax. Um, so it's really just gives you that bed head look. It doesn't give you a ton of hold, which I like. It's, it's just a soft feel to the hair. So if you have really thick hair, it's a great product for just having a little bit of control, but not too firm. So there's our end result. Hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below. Hey guys, like always, if you liked this haircut, then hit the like button, hit the share button. Make sure you subscribe below. We have a lot more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. And also make sure you check out freesaloneducation.com for all the tools and scissors and everything that you need. And also all the other free videos that we have 
available. And go to fsesocial.com, which is our social media kind of website where you can talk to other hairdressers out there, connect, build a profile, share your work. We'd love to see you on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.